Hi guys, I'm Rupert and this is my 10 top tips for video blogging. This leads on to my first point. Make your point sooner rather than later. People don't want to watch through the whole of a video to find out what it's about. Leading on from that, consider the length of your video. About 3 minutes in general is pretty good. It's too easy for people to switch off. Know your camera inside and out. Whether it's a flip cam, DSLR or a webcam, it doesn't really matter. But all of those little intricacies in the settings will really make the difference for making it professional or not. Because we're using a webcam, we're using an app called Eyeglasses which helps you change the exposure settings and the shutter speed settings which will really add to that professional touch. Lighting is one of the most important parts of video. Nobody's going to want to watch you sitting in the dark. The main aim of lighting is to eliminate shadow. So, as you can see, we've just used two office desktop lamps, um, one to light the right and left side of my face, and just some greaseproof paper to diffuse the light, get rid of all the shadow, even on the face. So, as you can see, we've just used a white background, because um, you want all the focus on you, because um, you don't want any distractions. So, if you are going to use a sheet, make sure it's taut. Um, if you aren't going to use a sheet, make sure there's plenty of depth to the background so there's no distractions for the viewer. When you're positioning your camera, make it just slightly higher than your eye level so your viewer is looking slightly down on you and keep eye focus the whole time. It's really distracting if people are looking around all over the place when they're trying to watch you. Make sure you keep the camera still. You don't want to make your viewer feel sick with a really shaky camera. Audio can make or break a blog because bad audio is really frustrating. So we're just using a basic laptop mic that costs about 20 quid, but it will really make the difference. What's really important is that you know your target audience. Whether you're speaking for people in the music industry, marketing or business, you need to tailor the way you're dressed, the way you're speaking, the type of language you're using, so it's really suitable for them. So now that you've uploaded your video to your blog, you need to share it with people. Upload it to social networking sites, email it out to friends, do whatever you can to get your content seen by your relevant audience. I hope this blog has been helpful in making you realise that you don't need huge amounts of money or technical equipment to make a professional looking video. As long as you know what you're talking about, there's no reason that your content can't be seen by loads of people. Thanks for watching.